Well, this is Vice Cam 1.0. I'm um, going to talk a little bit about um, uh, changing out a bushing. Uh, this is a, a steel pulley. Um, it works on a conveyor system. Uh, it has a, uh, a bronze bushing on the inside of it, which I'm hoping to uh, retrofit with a, uh, a Delrin bushing. Um, stay tuned. We're going to start off here with um, what I'm going to use to knock the bushing out. It's a little piece of copper that I'd uh, got off of uh, well, probably a garage sale or something like that. Anyways, I turned it into a, a very nice uh, implement of destruction. Got my uh, custom uh, scraped and flaked uh, bench block that uh, I put together uh, just for beating on. An idiot would scrape and flake a uh, block and then pound on it. I don't know. I'm that moron. Onto the mayhem. Quite barbaric, actually. Just pound and pull. And there comes your bushing. Inside of the pulley appears to be in pretty decent shape. The uh, bushing itself did not spin. So, uh, should be a relatively easy um, change out. Now here comes the fun. I have to uh, remake this bushing in Delrin. Stand by. All right. Now we're going to measure out this bushing here. Six two five, so we got a five eighths outside diameter. Rubber pendant doesn't work. That's okay, a spare. Okay, six two five OD. Eight seven five on the outside of the step. Eight seven five. Got to get our thickness of the flange. Okay, we'll call it one twenty five, eighth inch thick. One, one, two, five, step. Okay, and we also know that this uh, inside diameter is wiped out uh, on the bushing. <laughs> No good. So we can't really measure this to uh, even think about getting a, um, an accurate fit. It's way too wiped out. So I took the liberty um, off camera here to uh, go ahead and measure this already. And um, I, I came out with 372. So for a running fit, I'll probably give it... Uh, I'll try a thousandth first and then possibly have to uh, punch it out to two thousandths over um, just to uh, have a nice uh, clear running fit. So 4.372 on the pin. All right. So um, basically I got to get a, a piece of material that's uh, pretty close to uh, seven eighths outside diameter and uh, step it all down and cut it out. We're going to replicate this out of Delrin. Stand by. Okay, well, found a donor piece of uh, Delrin here. Uh, I don't know, a little bit over uh, two inches long here. Uh, 
Oh, my bad. Um, an inch and three quarter long. And uh, this might be enough to make me two bushings. Um, so what I've already taken the liberty of doing, um, found a, uh, a reamer, uh, 0.3745, and uh, went ahead and uh, drilled and uh, reamed out uh, the center here. And as you can see, pin fits in there nice, nice and tight. We'll end up uh, conditioning that after we uh, make the bushings. But uh, here's the start. Do some more turning on the lathe over here. So here we are back at the mayhem. Went ahead and punched out a uh, bushing out of Delra in here. Um, what did we end up with here? 325, or excuse me, 625. Reading threes here. We got uh, hundred thousandths here on the uh, the outer step. Mm, just a little bit shy of what I wanted on that one. Um, our pin turned out perfect. A little rough to get in there, but uh, really, really nice spinning. As far as uh, the fit inside of the pushing, well, we're about to find out here. Probably a good idea to. Knock off some of the crud here. Bingo. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen. One Delrin bushing. Suitable replacement for uh, bronze and low speed applications. Um, we're inside of these uh, conveyors quite a bit, but. Um, it seems to last quite a quite a long time for even the other uh, custom bushings that I've made to uh, replace some of the bronze bushings. Um, all goes to show you that uh, you could accomplish anything that you want to. Get out there and machine some stuff.